All right, today on Man Cave Tools, we are gonna do a versus video between the Metabo 12 volt drill driver versus the DeWalt Extreme 12 volt drill driver. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, so let's look at the specs really quick and just get to it. The Metabo with a 4 amp hour battery weighs 2 pounds and 0.9.3 ounces. The DeWalt Extreme with a 5 amp hour battery weighs 2 pounds and 13.9 ounces. So the Metabo actually weighs a tiny bit less. All right, so let's do the DeWalt first. Like I said, a 5 amp hour battery. The battery is full. It's a three bar system. We are going to do a one and a half inch hole dozer from Milwaukee. We're gonna try out speed two, but if it can't do it on speed two, we'll go to speed one. Wow. I'm surprised about that. You can do it. Time, I'm, I, I am surprised it did that. One and a half inch hole with a 12 volt tool, like that's on speed two. That's actually pretty impressive. Here we go, it's on speed two, it's on drill. Four amp hour battery, battery is full. I do not know if the little lithium HD technology is 21700 cell batteries. I'm, I am not sure on that. All right, but it's on speed two. Let's see what the Metabo can do. Oh. I'm not gonna fail that because it, like these sometimes take a smooth glide in. All right, so it is having it is having issues. Yeah, it is having issues. Up oh, and it made a noise. Yep. Uh, yeah, it makes a noise as well. T minus ten seconds to reach minimum safe distance. So yeah. So obviously the Metabo is having issues with doing that on speed two. So. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we are going to go to speed one. All right, as you can see, he's able to do it. That's why I fast forwarded it. It took a while. I, ti I timed that and everything, but yeah, that took a little longer than I wanted it to. It, really quickly, when it comes to the batteries, I do prefer the rubber molding. Uh, the Metabo does have nice rubber molding on the bottom of it. That means you could put this on finished surfaces and not have to worry about scratches. Unfortunately, the DeWalt Extreme battery does not, so... I do majorly prefer rubber molded uh, batteries. And so for the log, we're gonna do uh, an eight inch uh, timber lock each and a six inch specs. We're gonna do speed two first. There we go. I got plenty of space for, uh, for the smaller stuff. Oh, uh, it stopped. And it's making that like self-destruction noise again. Let's see if, if it can continue. All right, it was able to finish it. Was able to finish it, but it did stop. Let's do the DeWalt next. We'll do it right here. Speed two. Done. And then some. All right, let's take out Metabos on speed two. Ready. Oh, it was, it was able to do it. It was able to do it. All right, next, let's take out the DeWalt's. Oh yeah. Was able to do it with a much, a much more ease. And there is one thing that I forgot to mention in the previous video that I did of this, which this was a long time ago, is that this is actually a multi-head tool. I am gonna do a versus video between these two. So yeah, this uh, this is coming up. All right, so the eight inch timber lock is next. Ah, uh, uh, to give it, I'm gonna give it a few more pulls. I, I'm gonna fail this, but let's give it a few more pulls to see if we can even finish it. So let's do the Dewalt. Ah, uh, the Dewalt did cut out as well. I'm gonna give it one more pull but both of them did fail to do it on speed two. 
So we're going to take these out on speed two and then uh, drive them back in on speed one. Time. DeWalt's turn. Time. Yes, it did. It did at that time. That was speed two. All right, speed two on the DeWalt. Not too shabby. All right, the battery life on the five amp hour is still at three bars. Let's just drive in a couple of uh, like three and a half inch or four inch uh, drywall screws. I'm a table first. Hilti drill driver bit, and we're gonna drive in two inch uh, drywall screws into a non pressure treated four by four. See, no problem. See, like, like I, I'm not gonna lie, that that's why I don't. That's why I don't do these tests because I could drive it in all the I could drive it in all the way through. Easy. All right, let's do no. They're they're two inch screws. I'm not I'm not timing this. Let's do four more. No problem. This is on speed two as well. All right, let's take them out. Easy. All right, and for the final test, while we have the four by four here, we're, we're gonna do a half inch spade bit and a one inch spade bit. Let's see how well these do. All right, so right here is good. All right. Up, oh, doing that on speed two. All right, so I am gonna fail that. Let's do the DeWalt on speed two and see even if it if it fails that. Nope, went all the way through. All right, so I'm gonna declare the Metabo a failure and on that task, and the DeWalt was able to I'll finish that on speed two. The Metabo, we're gonna try speed two again. If it fails on speed two, we'll switch to speed one. All right, one more pull. All right, so let's uh, switch this to speed one. Let's just continue on. And it's through. All right, so next it is time for the DeWalt. Uh, we are going to try speed two, and if it fails, we're just going to continue on speed one. All right, it failed on speed two, and since it went, it did go in deeper, we're going to make a new hole. But the other, but we are going to make it uh, as even as possible. All right, so th that is about where the metabol stopped. So let's continue. And we're going to add the timer. Oh, it, it's through. I hate it when that happens. There we go. It gets caught on the shrapnel on the bottom. This, this stuff it gets caught on. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But already, but since this Metabo is actually a multi-head drill, we are going to do a versus video with this Hilti. This is SFE2A12. And as you can see, it's a multi-head as well. And so, yeah, versus video coming up. I'm excited I, that I figured that out a while ago. Because like I said, this, this tool is not mine. It's my friend, Mr. Bates, and he's letting me borrow it. So yeah, a versus video coming up with Hilti. Now, when it comes to this versus video, I thought the Metabo would actually win because, you know, it's uh, this is the Metabo top brand, the 
This is Metabolo's top line when it comes to this color coordinated green and the lithium HD batteries. And so I, I was hoping the Metabolo would come out on top, but the DeWalt did surprisingly. Now that might be with the battery because this battery is new, it's five amp hour and four amp hour. I usually don't see one amp hour as a big enough deal to not do a video on this, but both of them perform pretty good. Like it's a 12 volt tool. I really don't use speed two on 12 volt tools, but this was just to see the power between the difference of these two. And yeah, both of them were able to do the jobs on speed one, which is what most people use anyways. But that's pretty much it, guys. Plenty of videos coming up. Please go check out my older videos and also check out my community page. I post a lot on there. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to, to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.